Hello and welcome back. In our lecture number 3 of kinesiology, you will get to know what the osteokinematics is, what are its types and what is the end feed. So let's get started. As we have studied in our previous lecture about the kinetics and kinematics, the kinematics is further subdivided into osteokinematics and orthokinematics. In this lecture, we will study about the osteokinematics. What is the osteokinematics? Osteokinematics by the name Osteo mean whole and kinematics is related to the characteristics of the movement. It's the movement of the bone. It's also known as the joint movement, classical movement or the physiological movements. The normal movements of the human body are comes under the osteokinematics. It's basically the movement of the one bone on an other bone at a joint. And as we have studied in our plane axis lecture, the movement of the bone occur around the joint axis and within the joint plane. To revise this, check out my lecture on plane and axis of human body. What are the types of osteokinematics motion? It includes normal physiological movements like flexion, extension, abduction, adduction and rotation. To study these movements in detail, check out my lecture number 6 of Schroeder Anatomy. Before moving further, we should know about some basic terms like range of motion. It's the range of the movement a bone moves during the movement. It's the measurement of the movement. How much movement occurs at a joint in one plane. And for example, how much flexion occurs at an elbow joint or how much extension occurs at an elbow joint. And what are the active and passive movements? Active movement you can do by your own will, by the help of your muscles. When your muscles contract and relax, they cause the movement. It's the active movement. And when that physiological movement is done by some external force, for example, a physical therapist move your hand or your leg through a range of motion, it's known as the passive range of motion or the passive movement. Now the most important topic of the end feel. It's a subjective assessment. And by the name is the feel a therapist get at the end of the range of motion. The important thing about that is basically a resistance that occur at the end of passive range of motion with the pressure. How? For example, a therapist is doing shoulder flexion when he moves your hand through the range of motion and apply pressure at the end of the shoulder flexion he'll get some resistance and that resistance gives him the feel that is known as the end feel which limits that range of motion This is the concept given by the CDX. He emphasizes on the tactile sensation and feel. The end feel can be normal and abnormal. 
in normal and feel the range of motion is complete while you will get the abnormal and feel before the completion of range of motion normal and feel is due to the normal anatomical structures present there while the abnormal and feel is because of some pathology or abnormal anatomy there are three types of normal and feels hard and feel firm and feel and soft and feel the hard and feel or the bony and feel as the name indicates is an hard and abrupt stop by the end of range of motion and is due to the bone to bone contact for example in during elbow extension the olecranon process of ulna fits into the olecranon fossa of the humerus to limit the elbow extension the firm and feel also known as the soft tissue stretch and feel that occur because of the soft tissue structure surrounding the joint stretched to limit the range of motion the stretch can be of ligament capsule or the muscles the example is the flexion at the mcp joints of the foot that limits because of the joint capsule stretch the soft and feel also known as the soft tissue approximation occur because of the muscle bulk compression as in elbow flexion the biceps brachii and brachioradialis get approximated and limits the elbow flexion in abnormal and feel you will have abnormal bony and feel bony and feel muscle spasm and feel empty and feel and the springy block the abnormal bony and feel is a sudden hard stop before the completion of range of motion due to some abnormal anatomical structure present there for example an osteophyte that limits the range of motion the bogey and feel occur in some acute conditions like edema and it's a wet spongy like the muscle spasm is a reflexive muscle gardening due to an injury occurring at a joint or in the surrounding tissues it's a protective response and limits the range of motion the empty and feel has no mechanical limitation the patient does not allow the range of motion because of the pain so pain limit the range of motion in springy block you will have rebound movement that may be due to a torn cartilage i hope you will like this video to support comment and share and for more videos please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you